Hey, how's it going? For all new viewers, my name is Josh Carrillo. Welcome to Carrillo's Life. In today's video, it's going to be to motivate you for the people that are down right now to be more optimistic. Like, what in the world is going on? First of all, I want to say this right now. Life is a bitch. Life ain't fair. I'm sorry. If you think that life after high school, life after 23 years old, after I don't give a fuck, it was going to be easy, well, it's not. And so this video, oh, I'm not here to get you mad. I'm not here to disappoint you. I'm not here because I'm disappointed. I'm not, I'm just trying to help out. I want to help you out to be more of an optimistic person in general, no matter what. What to do? <laughs> what to do when something's up? You feeling down. You want to run for the hills. You don't want to be here. You don't want to talk to no one. You are mad at yourself. You want to do certain things to yourself that is not, and I mean it's not correct. You know, you might have good deeds, but trust me, it's not great at all. First thing you want to do, no matter what, and it's something that I want to do. And it's hard to understand and to accept your own problem. We all have issues. It's hard to sit down and listen to someone try to help us out because no matter what, we all have a different story to tell. You no, know, everyone is unique in their own way. No one has a very similar, well, it could have a very similar story, but there's no such thing as two stories that are the same. And there are times where you're sitting there with your friend, you know, you're someone that you care for and that trust. And there are times where you're just like, why am I getting advice from this person? This person has never gone through what i gone through. And it's true. I have sitting down next to someone, try to help them out, give them advice. And I can't necessarily put myself in their shoes. It's very difficult. And there are times you ha you know, I try to do it. I'm like, okay, so fuck, what if I, what if I was in that position? That, and it's very hard. Sometimes that I can't even imagine myself doing putting myself in that position because we all have we all make rational and irrational decisions and a lot of the times when we have issues is because we necess we made an irrational decision. Now, I'm not saying that irrational decisions are bad, but there are times that there are irrational decisions that no one in this world will understand because whatever moves you did, whatever actions you created or made on that decision it's a very unique in your own way and so putting myself in those shoes of someone else is very difficult so what you do realistically is to sit there with yourself don't run away write something or do something that find an outlet that's gonna help you get out of that mentality that psychological state that's keeping you down that's making you feel like shit etc etc and talk to yourself it might sound crazy, but it's the truth. Tell yourself, what's going on here? What is going on overall? Why am I feeling this way? Am I being salty? Am I acting different? Is that why he or she is not talking to me no more? Now, don't think negatively. Never do that. The moment you think negatively of yourself or of the situation, that's when you start to get anxiety. You start to feel like you ain't your value is not even <laughs> worth it worth it you have to be positive be biased on your own self once you're able to do that and accept that there's somewhat of an issue start making a plan what can i do and a lot of times what i like to do is go talk to someone else don't tell them about my issue but tell them a scenario of what's going on he or she the person that i'll be talking to Someone that I trust, someone that cares for me, someone that will always be there for me no matter my decision. Well, understand I'm talking about myself, but he or she would not say that at all. Because they're understanding that I'm trying to find what's wrong with me so I could fix it myself. At that moment, whatever you gain from the other person, advice, or whatever it was, go back to yourself. And this time, kind of yell at yourself and say, this is what I do. What the fuck, George? What the fuck are you acting? Why are you acting this way? Why are you doing this to yourself? What do you need to do in order for you to stop thinking this fucking way? You're fucking stupid. And in a way, it's kind of like putting down yourself. But it's kind of like checking yourself. 
because at that moment you're just like fuck for real I'm like I'm, I'm not i'm not being the person i need to be i'm procrastinating i'm doing this i'm like i'm making too many excuses no wonder they're not they don't want to hang out with me da, da, da. now do not bring if you are at a level that you are just can't can't do it yourself yes go go seek help now do not seek help from someone that is also having a hard time <laughs> that's something i learned the hard way never do that if you know a person is already having a hard time and you come into the picture and you start give them give give them your hard time it's just going to escalate for you, you might even end your friendship your partnership your relationship overall and so there are times where trying to go out you know see someone that you know it's not having a hard time that's in a you know in a prime at, at that stage at you know just positive thinking and like, hey man you know i'm feeling this way boom boom that's the person you should go to right now but if it's something not so serious but you want to you know something that say you know tomorrow i have this huge test i have to do or you know at work i have to do this task and i don't know if i could do it or my boss is looking at me and i'm just like oh my god at that moment just tell yourself like you know what's going on what what do you need to do george what do you need to do yourself what's wrong with me what's going on and you know just kind of like analyze a little don't overthink it if you're overthinking too much as you're doing too much already it should be no more within you know 30 minutes or less something simple quick easy day now after all this the hardest part is taking action on it just like anything someone overweight that needs to work out that has a plan already that knows what he or she needs to do in order to to lose weight in order for he or she need to do to stay fit to be fit again the hardest part is actually starting me starting the diet going to the gym you know it's all self-discipline at that moment and i think it's key of being an optimistic person to have that you know level of discipline within yourself tell yourself like nope i'm not gonna do it nope and it's very hard i think that's one of the hardest things around talking to yourself getting advice and trying to understand what the heck the problem is it's not the hard part at all actual you know everyone could talk for days but doing remember actions speak loud in the words and if you don't act on the problem then you never do anything but overall trust me i'm sorry life ain't fair and life is a motherfucking bitch no one said it's gonna be easy so stop being fucking negative stop being that person that you are right now stand up remember your future has not been written yet so you gotta make it a fucking good one that's my word for me to you